was you get some uh, plastic model paint. And yeah, actually I just finished doing that. So I got a bunch of that shit here. You can get some plastic models. And I got the colors. And for the German fighters. And I sprayed it on some cards. I don't know where I put the cards. But I just took some construction paper that kids use in school and I cut out about a two inch square. No, I think it's, I think they're actually right here. There they are. There's a couple of inches square is all you really need. And I forget what size I made these. <laughs> More like three inch square. This is kind of overkill. All you really need is about two inch square. And I sprayed the colors on each one of these. And you see I CA'd some popsicle sticks. I wrote on the back what they were. I'm just keeping these in case uh, for future reference. So this is a uh, light blue. What's the Luftwaffe light blue. And on the bottom are the wing and stab and the sides of this airplane I'm going to paint with this. Now the gray that's on it is good enough. That's the wing here. But there again is that gaudy green. So I got the German green. And there's a dark green for the Luftwaffe. That's not the one I'm using. Uh, that's a sky. I think this is what the Brits used. I'm not sure. And it sure looks different in the camera. And I, I wrote all the information in the back of the cards. There's that German gray. This is the other gray I'm going to use. So you get the light gray, and then I'll have the dark gray camel. So all this will be done over in the uh, German gray. I also took a piece. This one here. Yeah, dark green Luftwaffe. There's a green, there's a green chromate. Now, I'm not sure if the Germans use this or not. I did do the firewall with it. I just brushed it all, probably sprayed it over. Not that anybody's going to see it inside the cow. But this is uh, the zinc or green chromate the military used. Now, the zinc chromate. For private is a different, it's more of a yellowish green. And this is what they call a cockpit green. So I sprayed these cards and I went to Home Depot in uh, Fort Saskatchewan and they had these little neat little sample um, containers. So I got the uh, colors matched. They, they got the little machine there. It's like I think it's computerized. And they they put these uh, each color up to this machine and I labeled the back so you know what to put on the can and uh, getting good at this one-handed shit. They match the colors up in exterior latex. You do not use interior latex because gasoline will trash interior latex, not to mention it's not as rugged. So she told me this stuff's even better. This is a self-priming, sorry about the camera everywhere. This is a self-priming latex. So it's a primer and a uh, color all in one. I tried it a few samples and a few things, man that shit's tough. Gasoline doesn't bother it, but glow fuel you'll have to put a uh, a clear coat. A lot of they recommend polyurethane, uh, either water-based or kind of um, hydrocarbon-based. But for gasoline, it's fine. Now this uh, FW one hundred and ninety. I've been actually picking away at this for years. Oh, there goes my battery. And I finally decided to get it done, get it finished, so I can get back at my Heath project here and get that airplane done. This little shit, shit hook just hooked that stuff on there. Yeah. So, this thing worked good. 
and uh, <laughs> when you uh, go to filter the paint, pour it in a cup, thin it out, then pour it in the filter. This stuff is like mud. Well, it's basically all it is is colored in mud. And uh, yeah, it wouldn't go through the filter. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is all I got going here. There's a couple of this stuff. And again, I apologize for my uh, bit of a speech impediment, but that will go away, they tell me. So, um, I did one side. I used the hair dryer, or the Monaco gun to dry it. You don't get too close, it'll wrinkle it up on you. And it worked well. And I sanded it just to see how that would work. Like you would drywall. One of these foam uh, pads. And I thought it was going to cake it up because, you know, I didn't let it dry very long. And, uh, this is an experiment on a plane I'm not all that give a shit about. So, I'm trying shit on it. Um, so I sat with this and lo and behold, after using that, uh, um, micro gun, it worked great. Now, sooner or later I'll find the papers. And the guy that actually, oh here it is. This is where I get all this stuff from. This uh, gentleman here. You can look that up. I printed it off. Not, this, none of this is my idea. This is all coming from him. And I get on to it from a gentleman. And this, this is the results of what this guy can do with the latex paint. And uh, there's a guy at our club. He got a beautiful a twin engine German bomber this way. So I said, hell yeah, I'm going to try that because uh, the uh, fellow in China did a real shitty job on this airplane. Well, despite the fact this camera hit the floor, it still works. Um, so it was day two of the 190 getting repainted. Uh, it, it seemed kind of rough, and I was thinking last night when it was. Uh, dry, but overnight it, I guess it drying more allowed the paint to smooth out a bit. So it's pretty much, you know, it's like a satin finish. It's a flat finish. Uh, I took it outside in the sun and it looked good. So I don't have to uh, put another coat on. This airplane does not need to be any heavier than it is. I keep thinking I got shadows, but I don't. That's just where the fiberglass is raised from the bulk. I taped off the top of the uh, paint I mixed up just to keep it from drying out and it worked. Didn't think it was going to work. But I'll tell you the solids in this latex it hit the bottom. I, I didn't think it was going to stir because it was like friggin rubber. But it did. It stirred up and uh, you got to keep stirring it. Like if you refill your uh, bottle you gotta keep keep moving with it it settles out pretty quick but uh yeah it stirred up fine and that's good to go i used uh sparky's trick and knowing when to that's about how runny you want it off your stick there for it to spray properly so uh some more stunt hanger tricks um trying to fill her up and, and uh shoot the uh, the rudder and vertical fan. Cause of some foul language. Oh man, that, that green that was on there. Yeah. I don't know what they had in the old 
pipe there in China, that'd be pretty bad. So I don't know if you can see that. It looks like a crack right here. That's what happens. You get a thick spot of paint. You get these. And uh, when you hit it with the, the heat, it dries up and cracks. Oh, I found they do go away sometimes. But like I said earlier, this is all an experiment. I'm just saying how well this is going to work and what I can get away with. I didn't even prime this plane. I just sanded it. And uh, it's self-priming uh, latex. So I'm going to run here. So I use the heat on it. It's not quite dry enough yet. But I'm going to show you how well this stuff sands out. Like it's only been a few, what, 10 minutes. So I'm going to try it now, see what happens. Let's see what happens. Just screw around with it, see what you can get away with. What does and doesn't work. That way, if you guys, anybody who watches it, wants to try it, you already know what not to do. I'm using a regular pad that you would use on drywall. And as you can see, it's already sanding off as a powder. It's not caking up. Like pat that on the jeans, it's gone, man. Okay, we're trucking along here. I got all the the uh, sky blue roofed off of sky blue done, as you can see, and I just added the uh, the light gray. Now this gray here, I just copied from what was on the plane. There's that crappy green. In it. I can't wait to get rid of. So uh, did the blue, it's all done, and the gray, light gray is done on the, that's just the fuselage, I've got a lot more to go yet, so that's all done, and I just mixed up a batch of uh, dark gray, German gray, so that's next, and this ugly green here is about to disappear, and uh, this top piece here, this, this is all going to be dark gray down about here. So I got one little spot of light gray here, and then the dark gray here, and it'll fall right up the vertical fin, and nothing on the rudder. So I'm probably going to have to mask that rudder off again. I think I better put on my old uh, shop coat from back in the days. I'm going to get paint on this good uh, shirt I'm wearing. Maybe not.
her parents is steadily improving.